Now, is the case of uh, Tinubu. Yeah. President Tinubu. Well, they still address him as President Tinubu, but in full form, he's, he's supposed to be President Bola Med Tinubu. But as it is, uh, the case on him alone is just uh, is very appalling, and I believe uh, he's a new president and he wants to do good to the nation. And uh, But his past antecedents, well, either good or bad or there, but, but definitely everybody have a past and uh, doing good is what is worthwhile. President Tinubu approves the changes in portfolios of ministers designate. I don't really know. Because all these people they use English to confuse us. Designate ministers. Cool. So let's see how the narrative goes. Well, straight to the news as President Bola Tinubu has approved the same minor changes in the portfolios assigned to some ministers designate. Okay. Now, special advisor to President on Media and Publicity, Ajuri in Galilee, disclosed this in a statement he issued on Sunday night. Well, I believe uh, we are in the English era. Uh, during uh, President Buhari as at that time, it was the Garba Shehu. They, they even have uh, too many spokespeople that wants to defend him as part. You know, three things is kind of English for us to understand, but. Instead of them doing it better, they would use the English to, I, I don't know, re, re, rhetorically, they would, they would make themselves guilty of whatever. English is a simple word, but notwithstanding, if somebody has designated a, a person, it means it means they appointed a person to do or to reassign or from the delegate or from the board of trustee. Maybe some people understand that, but it's just English. Well... To furthermore, special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Ajuri, Ajuri in Galilee, well, that name Tiki. Well, he, according to what he said, he disclosed this in a statement he, he issued on Sunday night. E. Well, he gave details of the changes as follows. Now, according to Galilee, it says that uh, President Bola Tinubu and uh, is uh, you know approval of every of the letter or deployment of engineer Abu Bakar Momo from the Ministry of Youth to the Ministry of uh, Niger Data Development. So, well, uh, the Ministry of Youth is to be reassigned to a minister designated uh, soon. Okay. Now the ministers are uh, designated uh, allocated to the ministries of Transportation, Interior, and Marine and Blue Economic have been uh, reshuffled uh, as follows. Well, uh, Adikboiga Oyetola is uh, redeployed as the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy. And that is from the number A or number one as it is. On the B part, number two, Bumit Sunji is uh, redeployed as the Minister of uh, Interior. Yeah. And, uh, and on the third of it is uh, Sehidu Alkali. Uh, is redeployed as the Minister of uh, Transportation. Now, Ungalele added that the Ministry of uh, Petroleum Resources now has two ministers. Well, furthermore, both ministers of, st of state in the oil and gas sector are now domiciled in the Ministry of Petroleum Resources uh, with the following designations. Well, on the iPad, which says Enekin and uh, Lopo Beauty, is the Minister of State, you know, Oil, Petroleum, Resources. Number two on the I says Ekperikwe uh, Ekbo is the Minister of uh, State, Gas, Petroleum, uh, Resources. Okay. Now the President approves uh, the renaming of the Ministry of Environment and Ecological Management as the Ministry of Environment. Okay. Then the Special Advisor said all changes will be or will come into effect immediately. Now, the ministers, the signet will soon and be sworn in on Monday, uh, which is the August 21st at the State House, Abuja. Well, uh, this is coming from uh, Galileo, Judy Galileo, there about, uh, I believe, uh, is you know, representing Tinumbu as a spokesperson.
you understand publicity media and publicity you know same way additional i defended it various at that time cool that's a nice one if a, a special advisor to the president on media and publicity are Galilee, yes disclosed this in a statement he issued on sunday night well he gave the details of the changes as follows as president bola Tinubu has approved the redeployment of engineer abubakar Momo from the Ministry of Youth to the Ministry of Niger Delta Development. Now, the Ministry of Youth is to be reassigned uh, to a minister designate soon. Cool. The minister's uh, designate allocated to the Ministry of uh, Transportation, Interior, and Marine and Blue Economy have been reshuffled as follows. Now, number one, Adeboyega Oyethola is redeployed as the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy. Okay, <laughs> blue economy. <laughs> okay, number two, uh, Bumi Tunji Ojo is redeployed as the Minister of Interior. Okay, number three, Sehidu Alkali is redeployed as the Minister of uh, Transportation. Now, Ngalele added that the Ministry of uh, Petroleum Resources now has two ministers. Furthermore, okay, before we get to that, furthermore, let's believe it. There is a blue economy blue economy the color blue economy i don't know well that would be a story for another time now furthermore both ministers of state in the oil and gas sector are now domiciled in the ministry of petroleum resources with the following designations uh, on the high part it says any king Lokobri is the minister of state oil petroleum resources a very quick Ekbo is the Minister of State, uh, Gas, Petroleum Resources. The President approves the renaming of the Ministry of Environment and Ecological Management as a Ministry of Environment. Now, the Special Advisor said all changes will come into effect immediately. Then, the Minister's uh, designate, uh, designate definitely will be sworn in. On Monday, August 21st, at the State House, Abuja. Okay. Uh, well said and well presented. Galilee, according to what the president, you know, president told him about the idea of media and to publicize the good part and the positive part. But let's see action. Most times, uh, the president or the governing body or the government itself, you know, they have, you know, they are, they have carcass. If they say this is what they are going to do, definitely. Before it to get to where everybody is going to get to, there are some carcass that would want to you know, be subject as per their own environment. Too. But notwithstanding, we go up Nigeria. Well, I have time, but I do not have time as per time. It's no time to waste or thereabout. We believe that it is a time for us to know that Nigeria needs prayer. Nigeria needs the support. Nigeria needs, uh, you know, togetherness. Because with togetherness is with you know victory, but if there is tribal, or if there is insurgencies, if there are so many issues, Nigeria will still remain the same. Well, this is why I'm going to draw the curtain. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV7. Thank you for listening. God bless you.